Hello dear friends, welcome back at your own channel Maths Meta where we are dealing with the academics sums, academics problems of mathematics of grade 10th board, which is what the first step of your future. Okay, what you will be there or which will you will be using your logics. So to develop your logic, develop your logical skills, this maths will surely help you out. Okay, so right now today we are going to discuss the chapter number 6 that is what triangle. Okay, and as usual we are, we will be discussing the introduction part of the chapter number 6 that is what triangle. Now triangle, you might be thinking what is to discuss in the chapter triangle because chapter triangle you are learning from grade 6 and right now you are in grade 10. But the knowledge is what? Infinite. So we should go on discussing because each and every word will give you some kind of knowledge. So let's go ahead with the chapter triangle. Here we are going to see the introduction part. Now triangle, in the last year or before that we were doing the thing where we were proving the two triangles are what equal to each other that is what we were proving the congruency or we were learning the part congruent ok what do we mean by congruent triangles we were discussing congruent triangles right we discussed already two triangles are what congruent then different criteria of congruency we have seen that is what SSS then ASA then SNS then RHS right and so on so how to prove that two triangles are congruent we have already seen now what is next here in the chapter number 6 that is what triangle we are going to discuss one more concept that is what similar ok now what is similar triangles or similar objects we can start with now similar means what which looks alike right which are exactly equal to each other or we are what overlapping each other overlapping each other means my this palm overlap my this palm so like this so what it is these two palms are what similar ok because the area of this palm is equal to area of this palm pair of shoes ok then pair of socks right these are also what examples of similar things similar means what just same as one another so what is the difference between similar and congruent ok similar means what they are looking like each other right ok congruent means exactly same with the area is also what equal now what we can say all the similar diagrams are congruent or all the congruent diagrams are similar what it should be it should be all the congruent diagrams are what similar because if they are congruent means their corresponding sides are equal their corresponding angles are equal their areas are also equal and that's why this kind of diagrams are known as similar then is there any special thing about, uh, with similar yes first of all here the similar word it is what in the part of what introduction so this similar word is for circles also is for squares also is for lines also is for line segments also is for angles also and then is for polygons also and triangles also of course triangle will be focusing more Okay. But here, how we can say that two circles are similar if they have the equal red or if they have the equal diameter, if they have the equal circumferences. So, what we can say that the two circles are what similar. Two line segments are said to be what similar if they have the same length. One is what 5 cm, another one is also 5 cm. That length, the line segments are what similar. Okay. How we can say that two angles are similar if they have the same measure that is 35 degree and 35 degree like that. Okay. Now is there any special uh, definition? First of all what is similar thing I also that we have understood on this word similar. 
chapter number sorry on the word similar exercise number 6.1 totally it depends on this concept and that's why i am giving you it as homework okay which you have to do after that the similar concept here we will be studying broadly with the triangles now when we can say that the two triangles are similar there are what two conditions okay there are what two conditions the first thing is what corresponding angles need to be what equal okay in short i am writing corresponding angles need to be what equal okay and then what is next the corresponding sides okay corresponding side must have equal ratio okay must be same ratio or must have equal ratio okay then you can say that the two triangles are similar now corresponding side will have equal ratio it may be both the sides okay the corresponding sides are equal of course if the corresponding sides are equal that time they will have the ratio is equal to 1 suppose one triangle is what 5 cm side another one is also 5 so of course that will be what congruent if they are congruent it will be what similar also but for to see that particular similarity what it should be corresponding angles need to be equal and the sides ratio should be what same it means if it is 2 by 3 2 by 3 2 by 3 so all the corresponding sides should be in the ratio of what 2 by 3 here it is not compulsory the sides are equal they may equal or they may not here they may or may not be equal the sides may or may not be equal but this is sure that the sides ratio will be same for an example if you may go ahead suppose that is one triangle that is a b c with the side 1 2 3 cm and this is what one more triangle that is p q r with the side 3 then 6 and 9 now suppose a is equal to p b angle is equal to angle q and then angle c is equal to angle r three angles are equal and what is the ratio of the side it is 1 by 3 then 2 by 6 and then 3 by 9 are they equal 1 by 3 2 1 the 2 3 is again 1 by 3 3 1 the 3 3 is a 9 that again it is 1 by 3 so the ratio of the three corresponding sides are what 1 by 3 it means the three angles are equal and the three sides are in the same ratio it means these two triangles are what similar triangles okay this is what the symbol for similarity and what is symbol for complement this thing okay now based on the concept of the similarity there is what exercise number 6.1 which i am giving you as homework okay now <clears throat> Here the similarity depends on when the two things are what exactly same. So two circles are said to be similar if they have the same radii. Okay, two circles are said to be same or similar if they have the <coughs> sorry if they have same diameter. Okay, two line segments are said to be what similar if they have the equal length. If two angles are said to be similar if they have the same degree measurement that is 35 degree and 35 degree. Is that okay? Then similarly, we will go ahead with the triangles. Is that okay? Triangles definition I have shown you. Two triangles are said to be similar if the three corresponding angles are equal to the other three corresponding angles, and their sides need, needs to be need to be what same ratio. What is next important point? Uh, next is what B P T or basic proportionality theorem. or it is also known as thales theorem okay this is one of the very important topic or unit of the chapter number 6 this is the next version of the midpoint theorem which i have studied recently in grade 9 diagrammatically i'll show you what exactly it means okay now suppose triangle abc and the theorem goes like this if in a triangle a line is drawn parallel to any one side of 
the triangle then it divides the other two sides in the same ratio it means that if de is parallel to bc it implies that ad upon db is equal to ad upon ec of course the next uh, next things are also not equal that is ad upon ab is equal to ae upon ac then db upon da is equal to ec upon ea means any uh, form of the sides ratio will be same if it is under the bpt okay which is what very much important so this is i am giving a start depending on this concept exercise number 6.2 is there now after going from here the next part of exercise number 6.2 is what similarity criteria okay what it is similarity criteria what are this same as criteria of congruency a bit of difference is there that is triple a double a triple s and then s a s now triple a means what three angles of one triangle equal to the other three triangles of another sorry three angles of another triangle when both the triangles are said to be similar if two angles are equal then of course the third angle according to uh, angle sum property of the triangle will be also equal so this is what the second triangle what is the triple s now here triple s is what it is same ratio equal ratio okay the sides may be equal or not but their ratios will be what similar or their ratios will be equal okay and if the sides are equal it means the ratio is 1 is to 1 then there is what s a s that is two sides are in the same ratio and angle included between them is equal so two sides and this is what the angle right so this is what the third fourth one and do we need here a s a no because a s a is already over two angles are equal okay so this is what the next criteria and exercise number 6.3 depends on this it is what very simple we have already studied after this there is what one more concept that is what ratio of similar triangle now what it is now suppose if triangle abc similar to triangle pqr then according to this theta what we can say is their ratios of area that is area of abc upon area of triangle pqr is equal to the ratio of square of their corresponding side that is ab upon pq square or bc upon qr square or ac upon pr square okay this is what one of the theorem which we have to prove so this is what second most important okay after this there is one more concept where we are using right angle triangle it means that in a diagonal plane this is what right angle triangle a b and c what happens according to this result if we are taking one perpendicular from the vertex of the right angle okay then this triangle got divided into two part that is one and two so according to this result if okay i am writing it here if b d is perpendicular on hypotenuse ac then what happens triangle number 1 is similar to triangle abc triangle number 2 is also similar to bigger triangle abc and most important triangle number 1 is similar to triangle number 2 this also we can do and it is useful to do many other problems this is what one of the important thing and the one more important thing which you are very much familiar that is pythagoras theorem okay now what is pythagoras theorem if you will see here only that is ac square hypotenuse square is equal to ab square plus bc square okay so according to pythagoras theorem the sum of the sorry according to pythagoras theorem the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the height 
and base. So these are what the important topics for the units of chapter number six, which we will be learning. But today the thing is what PPT is one of the important thing, and its converse is also there that we have to see. Okay. So converse ratio, then this result and then Pythagoras theorem. These are what the four point. Out of this four, one will be surely there in section B in your board exam paper. So. It depends on you how to earn marks. So those who are not having clear or having some what uh, problem with maths, so they should surely be doing this four things. Okay. So right now for today, here only we are stopping with the introduction part. But exercise number six point one is given to you as homework. So complete these things in your notebook. I want that the first page of this chapter should be in this form. Okay. On the first page of chapter number six, I want that this diagram should be there. Okay, this is called what the mind map. So try to get clear with it, draw your mind map, and try to understand the basic concept of the chapter number six triangle. Then solve exercise number six point one. Very soon we'll be meeting in the next video with BPP or Thales theorem, and we'll be solving exercise number six point two. Till that time. Keep smiling, enjoy your life with your problems. Okay, so wait for another video at your own channel, Max Mega. With that, be happy. Thank you.